Hey Fruit Bat, so as promised, this is a video on Miranda Kerr. She is a supermodel, she's a Victoria's Secret model, she has been on the cover of many magazines, she's a fellow Aussie as well, and she's got nearly 7 million followers on Instagram. To pinpoint Miranda's exact diet, it can be pretty confusing because she jumps between like a 5 2 diet, intermittent fasting, and then predictably she binges out on fried chicken. But then we've got her making a green smoothie, which is vegan. So, hmm, I'm a little bit confused. I predominantly eat healthy and organic, and I know what works for my body. I've studied nutrition, and I'm very passionate about the way the body works, so I know what to do. Ah, so now it makes a lot more sense. She did an integrated nutrition course. Do you teach a vegetarian vegan approach to nutrition? I, I, and does not preach. Like how they use the word preach, the whole vegan thing. Any one dietary theory, so they expose their pupils to over 100 diets, confuse the shit out of them, um, with the idea that no one diet works for everyone, which is just not true, and most of the teachers are just as confused as the pupils, or they have a vested interest. Here's a quote from Miranda. I'm not exactly sure when she said it. Hopefully she's wised up since then, but I am not a vegetarian. Meat and seafood make up most of my personally acidic food intake. To further counteract the negativity of the acidic food, I eat high alkaline foods to balance my overall daily nutrition intake. It's kind of like a junkie shooting up and then afterwards having a green juice to detox. What is the point? So if you're regularly consuming things that you know to be acidic and negative to the body like animal products, then why would you continue to eat them? Hunger, baby. Hunger. That's why. So in this Instagram shot of Miranda stuffing in the junk food, she says after show indulgence, it's all about a balance 80-20 rule. So I try and stick to the 80-20 rule. So 80% healthy and 20% indulgent. More like the 80% starve, 20% binge rule. So Miranda often says she's on a blood type diet and she's an A type and it says here she should be following a vegetarian diet and she's not even doing that. And I thought I'd bring our blood types into it. I'm an A positive, Harley's an O type and we both thrive in exactly the same high carb vegan diet. We have excellent blood tests, we feel amazing, we have transformed from our former diets. So I'm not going to get into a scientific debunking of the blood type diet, that's been done many times before, but just put into Google veg source blood type diet and that will come up with the truth. So what I do want to remind you of is that we both thrive on this lifestyle and we have different blood types and just like every other animal species on the planet, humans are designed to eat their species specific diet regardless of their blood type hype. Miranda, I have a question for you. If your body is designed like a frugivores, then why would you eat like a meat eater? It just doesn't make sense. So Miranda's current way of thinking about nutrition actually reminds me of myself just before I found this lifestyle. She's talking about fresh juice, egg whites, avocado, oatmeal, all the things I used to eat before I found this lifestyle. She also says something interesting at the end, you can't avoid eating something that isn't so healthy if that is what is all to offer, so I don't give myself a hard time if I have something a little naughty. So she's talking about animal product junk food here, and it's not about it being naughty, it's about it being fucking cruel to animals. There's a someone involved here. There's an animal that wants to live, and she's not considering that, and that is truly disappointing. Fried chicken. Yep. That's my weakness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really not good for you, but yeah, I like fried chicken. But you obviously don't have it too, too often. No. Well, I, I believe that um, we shouldn't deprive ourselves of anything that we want. Like, if we really want something, I think we should have it, but just in moderation. So studies show if you eat a diet rich in animal proteins, you are four times more likely to die of cancer than someone with a low protein diet, like a high carb vegan diet. And that's how most people eat. So essentially, if you're eating animal products, it's like smoking cigarettes for your health. Speaking of cigarettes, I hope Miranda doesn't smoke anymore. <laughs> Something smells a bit fishy here. Ugh, gross. Again, this is something I was doing before I found the vegan lifestyle. I was eating a lot of fish because I thought it was healthy and clean. But little did I know, it's one of the dirtiest foods on the planet. And Miranda's often having it a couple of times a day. So Miranda often talks about eating clean and you can tell it's important to her, but she's eating food that is completely filthy. So you have to remember all the chemical runoff from farms, from the pharmaceutical industry, all the shit of the earth goes into the ocean. And then that concentrates millions of times in the flesh and the fat of the fish. And then we go and cook it up, heat all those chemicals up, eat it, and think we're doing something healthy for ourselves when we're actually poisoning ourselves on a deep cellular level. One thing I'm really impressed with is that Miranda has her own cruelty-free vegan skincare line. All that's left now is for Miranda to step up and try a high-carb vegan or raw till four lifestyle. I can feel that she's so close. She's taking steps that I was taking just before I came to this lifestyle. She's probably starting to realize that calorie restriction, coffee, and youth will only last so long. 
Let's encourage her by letting her know about this video on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, because you never know she could give it a go. So Fruit Bats, that's my video for today. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself. And as usual, give us a thumbs up if you appreciated this video and you want more of them, and I will see you tomorrow.